Hey folks, this is Fred Bernardo, the smoking guitar player at Fred's Music and Barbecue in Chillington, Pennsylvania. How you doing? And this here is my crusty, trusty big green egg. And you know what happened to me the other night? Well, I was making some pizza and I burned my gasket. Well, I burnt my whole gasket right off the darn thing. It fell off and then it burned up. So you know that happens. But it's July of 2009 and we got a solution for you. And we got all the latest information. And what we're going to do is... Nomex. That's right, the Nomex gasket. So we're going to put one on there and use all the latest ideas and all the things we learned over the last year putting on Nomex. So, time for Nomex. Let's go! Okay, folks, before we start this new Nomex video, I just want to tell you that it's July 2009, and we've learned a lot about gaskets and about Nomex in the last year. I personally have educated myself completely about Nomex. You know, that's what the race car drivers wear. It's fire retardant material. But before we even get to that, I'm trying to turn this egg here for a little more light. I want to show you what happens. We learned you got to pre-shrink your gasket, because if you don't, that's what's going to happen. Now, this has been on for six months, but that happened uh, the first two times I cooked on this egg. That's a large egg. You got about a half an inch there, maybe not quite, of shrinkage. Okay, so you want to pre-shrink your gasket, and uh, we're going to give you all the latest facts on how to be successful with your Nomex gasket kit. Now, something else we want to show you today, folks. This egg here isn't lit here, in case you're wondering. That's just charcoal we used the last time. But what we have here, we have an OEM style gasket. I'm going to show you that right there. OEM style. As a matter of fact, this is new. It still has the backing paper on. And here we have some of the Nomex, new Nomex gasket. So I want to show you a little demonstration. I'm going to do it over the egg here, just in case something catches on fire, I can let it go. First, to make a real test, we don't have this backing. Now let's see if I can get it off. There we go. This is felt gasket. Okay, and there's the backing. Now you'll know a lot of times on the egg that that backing lets go and the whole thing drops off anyway. But I just want to show you something here. Here's one of our lighters. This is kind of a good one with a little blowtorch flame. If we get this thing going good enough. It eventually burns away to nothing, catches fire like that, and keeps burning. Maybe you can see that. It's still burning there. See that flame on there? burning away. And that's what it does on your egg. It burns away and it burns completely around sometimes. Like that. You see that burning? Oh, and I hate that smell. Okay, I'll clean that up later. That sticky stuff makes an awfully bad smell too. Now here we got the Nomex. I'm going to show you the same test with the Nomex. Here we go. Now it, it chars and it lights a little bit. But no matter how much I keep that flame on there, as soon as I pull it away, it goes out. Now it will burn and it will shrink down, but it isn't near. You see this? I can spray it. This is like a blowtorch this lighter. And I can spray it on there. You can see it turn in color. The first thing that happens is the little fuzzies turn brown. You see that? Watch here, the little fuzzies turn brown. But that ain't nothing compared to the other stuff. This is like a little blowtorch this lighter. And you see, I can make it black but it does not catch fire, so that's the secret of the Nomex gasket. Nomex is flame retardant material. Let's get on with the gasket replacement. Now we're going to pre-shrink our gasket. So get your gasket kit, unravel it so it looks like this, and go to your clothes dryer, plop it in there, turn the thing up, give it about 15 minutes a half an hour, maybe on high, and hit the button. We'll come back later and get it out, let it cool off, and then stick it on our egg. So here we have the tools we're going to use, the tools and supplies, to replace the gasket on our big green egg with the Nomex gasket. I'm going to start left to right describing them. Here we have a pair of leather gloves. That's in case we need to uh, pick up anything that's maybe dirty, crusty, and heavy. Um, we're guitar players here, so we want our fingers to stay nice and soft and supple. Here we have a wire brush. After we apply the acetone here, which we use to cut the glue and all the gunk on the surface of the egg, the ed egg edge, and then we use the wire brush to kind of rub it around. We also use this razor knife. We might use that to sort of scrape the gasket off or pick away at the gunk. 
our grill grate tool, which we use to lift out our grates when we get started. Here we have some vinyl or rubber gloves. They're there to protect your fingers from the acetone. Now, it's interesting to note, we also have, uh, by the way, safety glasses. We have sunglasses today. But we don't want to get the acetone in our eyes or on our hands. It is interesting to note that the smoking guitar player, when he was a teenager, worked in a chem lab and uh, pretty much was dousing my hands, fingers, face, mouth, everything in acetone regularly. And uh, I'm still uh, walking and talking. Though we don't know how many of my brain cells are left, but uh, you can survive, but we don't recommend uh, getting acetone on your skin. Let's get back to our tools. Here we have a nice sharp scissors to trim the ends or anything we have to do there. Here we have a half inch box end wrench or open end wrench. We're gonna use that to loosen up the spring bands. Here we have one of the most important tools, one of those razor knife thingies like you use to take a decal off your window. And uh, that's very important to scrape the gasket and all the gunk off the egg. Here we have the dollar bill. That's to do the famous dollar bill test after we're done to see how the seal is. And here we have the two stars of the show. The Nomex gasket, which has been pre-shrunk by putting in the dryer, and the 3M Super 77 glue, which we're going to spray on the egg and the gasket, then join them together in holy matrimony, hopefully uh, to forever, uh, till death do they part. Okay, let's get back to the job. Let's take a look at what's happening with my gasket. This is a medium big green egg, and this has been plagued with bad gaskets since day one. Very first time I used it, the entire gasket burned off, and I've replaced uh, numerous of the original factory original gaskets on it, and the last time this lasted maybe three cooks, and then it started to do this. Can you see that? One thing cool, back here you can even see the plastic is still sticking to the egg. The that mylar stuff is still sticking to the egg, and I'm going to have to scrape. Well, here it is here, down here, too. You can see the plastic. I don't know if you can see this on the video, but you see that? If I can get that all off on one piece, that is going to make my job much easier, okay? So, I'm going to do that now, and we're going to see what happens. But I am going to take the top of the egg off, and we're going to work on it. You see, you can't really work underneath there like this. But I'm lazy, and I'm going to do this anyway. And oh, so far, really good. I'm very happy about this. Very, very happy. That looks to be it for that stuff. It's definitely still on over here. I can feel it. So, uh, we're going to uh, take the egg apart, and then we'll show you that. So the first step to taking your egg apart is attacking these two bolts here. This one first. This is the top bolt. As you can see, they're both bent just like they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be bent. If they're not bent, they're not tight enough. We're going to use a half inch wrench and we're going to get on here like this and we're going to start loosening it. We're going to loosen this band completely up then I'm going to carefully lift the top out allowing the hinge to open so that it doesn't spring and take my eye out and I'll try and uh, perhaps I can cap capture that on the camera. If not, uh, you'll see how I'm going to flip it over and put it inside the base and the base will hold it. Okay, I'm going to let the camera roll as I do this and we'll see how I do. First, I'm going to loosen this way up, big time. Very, very loose, but not so loose that it completely flies off and hits me in the eyes. Because that spring band is spring-loaded. Now, another thing we might do, we're going to flip this over inside the base, and I may take the thermometer off, and I may put some a blanket or some cushioning material in there, some newspaper or some cardboard. so that I don't scratch this surface with the other part of the egg. Now if you leave your bottom gasket felt gasket on, that kind of works as a cushion too. Now, are we loose? And as you can see, my spring thing didn't spring, but there it goes. Okay, and I'm going to put that aside for a minute. And I'm going to take the bottom off. You just want to watch if this thing doesn't get you. 